वेलकम टू द फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज इन इंटरनल फ्लो सो फार वी हैव सीन एंट्रेंस रीजन थ्योरी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द वेलोसिटी प्रोफाइल फॉर लैमिनर एंड टर्बन फ्लो फॉर द फ्लो थ्रू पाइप ऑलरेडी वी आर वेल अवेयर ऑफ डेफिनेशंस ऑफ बोथ द फ्लोज द डाइमेंशनलेस नंबर दैट कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर डिफरेंशिएटिंग द लैमिनर एंड टर्बन फ्लो इज कॉल्ड एज रेनॉल्ड्स नंबर रेनॉल्ड्स नंबर इज द रेशियो ऑफ इनर्शिया फोर्स टू द viscous force mathematically it can be written as product of rho v and d divided by the viscosity mu where rho is the density of fluid v is the mean fluid velocity d is the characteristic length the characteristic length for the pipe is the diameter itself for the flow over the plate it is the length for flow through the pipe that is internal flow if reynolds number is less than 2000 the flow is laminar if the reynolds number is greater than 4000 the flow is turbulent in between 2000 to 4000 the flow would be transitional while for the flow over the plate or external flow if reynolds number is less than 5 into 10 raised to 5 the flow is laminar if it is greater than 10 raised to 7 the flow is turbulent and in between 5 to 10 raised to 5 to 10 raised to 7 the flow is transitional here one new term called as critical real number that we are going to see it is the value of real number where the flow suddenly converts from laminar to turbulent so for internal flow the reynolds critical number is 2300 let us move towards the velocity profile for the laminar flow already we have seen that the laminar flow occurs in real and newtonian fluids where flow occurs in laminates or layers moving parallel to each other so viscous forces are present between these layers and because of this there exists a velocity gradient from the boundary towards the center hence this flow is also called as streamline or viscous flow where the viscous forces are dam- dominant for flow through the pipe in fully developed region for laminar flow the velocity profile is parabolic in nature in the figure shown you can see that at the center the velocity is maximum where the radius is zero while at the pipe wall or boundary the velocity is zero where the radius is capital or you can say the radius is i as maximum it occurs at this flow occurs at low velocity or low f- flow rates where less fluctuation in pressure is required is blood flow in veins liquid flow in capillary tube trans the ink flow in ball point pen and it does not find any application or very less application in heat transfer as before going for the velocity profile of turbulent flow we must look for the variation in center line velocity of both mm-hmm. laminar and turbulent flow in laminar flow figure we can see that the flow occurs along streamline and in layers hence the center line velocity variation is negligible with time hence the velocity at center line is always the average or mean velocity or you can say there is no variation with time for turbulent flow the flow is unpredicted the flow does not occur in layers hence there is a formation of eddies in any direction so that leads to the mixing of layers hence the center line vera- velocity variation occurs with time hence for the turbulent flow the velocity is always the sum of mean velocity and the instantaneous velocity variation that is u is equal to u bar plus u dash hence for laminar flow the viscous forces exist in entire flow field while for the turbulent flow viscous shear forces exist near, near the boundary in laminar sublayer while for turbulent flow the shear forces exist in core room for turbulent flow the viscous shear and turbulent forces are dominant the velocity profile is logarithmic there exist a uniform velocity core at center it occurs at high velocity and high flow rates the mixing of layers occurs in turbulent flow suitable for heat transfer the examples for turbulent flow are water flow through the pipe and rivers
the logarithmic velocity profile is having three regions mainly one is laminar sublayer or viscous sublayer region where the flow is laminar in nature the thickness is very small viscous shear forces are dominant in this region hence the only shear stress exists in viscous no turbulent shear exists in this region second region is a transitional region where both laminar and turbulent shear forces exist hence in this region mixing occurs along with viscous flow hence total shear is always the sum of viscous shear and turbulent shear the third region is also called the turbulent or core region where only the turbulent shear exists and no viscous shear exists. so the velocity profile for turbulent flow is very much complicated to predict many researchers have tried to develop the mathematical models for predicting the flow behavior but no mathematical fit model fits the application and application to application the conditions vary and because of this it becomes very complicated to predict the velocity profile the blasius and the pandal have tried to develop the mixing line theory but it is of also no use so the generalized model for predicting the turbulent flow is a power law approximation model for smooth pipes where the ratio of mean velocity to the u max is equal to in bracket small r upon capital r raised to 1 upon n where n is dependent on general number you can see that with the variation in value of n the velocity profile becomes flat so you can see that when n is equal to 5 the velocity profile is flat as compared with when the n is 10 so that's all for this session we will cover the types of boundaries while studying the losses thank you